You know, people say um, nothing is impossible. What do you think I'm doing right now? So, welcome to Go Ranch. I have a bit of a problem. See, we ran out of egg carton, and so I wasn't able to gather eggs. And so now, I have not gathered eggs for like a week now, and I have this giant bucket. Hang on. Yeah. I have this giant bucket, two gallon bucket, mostly full of eggs. That's a big issue. So I thought I might as well do like a, um, a factory reboot by smashing a crap ton of eggs. Since I already have the eggs and we do not know how old these ones are or how old any of them are. They could be fresh or they could be not fresh. And almost rotten. So, yeah, we're going to have fun today. Oh, by the way, I got a haircut yesterday. It was long overdue, and what did you think of that intro? It actually didn't take me long to do. You would think that it would take a while to get the animals to cooperate like that? It didn't. Let me fill you in on my setup for a breaking these eggs. Safely. Okay. First off, I don't know if you'll be able to, okay, it's focused. It's very rainy outside and I did not want to get drenched to the bone while filming this video. So I came up with this. There is a wooden backstop, these pellets shouldn't go through the wood, but I have this pellet proof tin right here. Behind that I have my um, specially hardened um, tin. That's also pellet proof. These metals are both pellet proof. See how many dents they have right there? That's from pellets. This stuff is also pellet proof. I've used that as a target many times. And as you can see, full of dents. No exit holes, nothing. It is totally perfect on the back. And I'm going to put the eggs like right here. So I have to miss by like two feet. Or I have to miss by like three or four feet. See, because this wood is like really huge. Yeah. See? It is huge. And I'm only going to be shooting this from maybe 15 yards out. Maybe five, actually, sorry. More like five yards. So, I've wasted enough of your time. Let's start shooting them. Bumper first. I'll zoom in for you guys. 
See that hole right there? Perfect. Zoom out again. All right, moving on to a pellet gun. Okay, have the egg set up? Never mind, I do not. Feel like an idiot. Okay, there, got that egg set up. Pellet gun caught, loaded, I think. Safety is on, but now it's off. And fire. Yeah, much better boom. Well worth it. I have to get that on slow mo. Wow. There's nothing left of the egg. Nothing. Holy oh, crap. Yep, nothing going through the tin. Perfect. Everything is catching on my tray. It is beautiful. Clean them is going to be super duper easy. Okay, that's going to be awesome. You know, the best and worst part about having only one camera to film these videos is I both have to and get to uh, um, break stuff twice. For example, I can smash this egg twice, or two eggs, once in real time, and once on slow-mo, so I get twice the fun. Now the bad part about that is when I do like a trick shot and I manage to get it on regular, that means I have to go through the trouble of getting it a second time on slow-mo. So that's why there's not always a slow-mo shot, because I only have one camera to work with. But, I'm going to smash this egg with a hammer. That'll be easy to do twice. Got the sledgehammer here. Let's smash. Worth it. That's going to be fun to do in slow-mo. I have an axe here. I zoomed in the camera, so... Well, that was, like, kind of not too exciting, but look at the egg, cut completely in half. I'm going to have, this is going to be such a pain in the rear to clean off this axe. It's covered in yolk. Disgusting. Now we'll do the slow-mo. But we're gonna check. Ugh. No exit hole. I did dent the egg a bit. Right there. But we can do better than that. Good. Okay, so we're gonna go for more. A higher hit. Yep. We're crushing it. We're getting an egg. And putting a new egg in there couldn't be simpler. Put the egg in there. Wrap it. And jump into it. There. I know where to put it. Perfect. So, let's go. Let's shoot her again. Okay, 10 pumps, I'm going for a more direct hit, see if I can get the same result. Wow! Okay, did something, but the pellet is right here on the surface, so we know that it did not go through. 
and something happened with the egg. Uh, whoa! I have not had that result. Ho oh, ho! That is not where a pellet hit it. That is from the brute force of the reveler in the can. Wow, the best I've gotten was like a dent. Wow. Ho oh, ho, wow. And you and I both know that um, this did not happen with uh, just the regular pellet. And my chicken is eating the egg yolk and beat it. Go. Oh. Okay, so here's a pellet lodged right here. I'm going to fish it out. It stopped in the first layer, and wow! This is the first um, time the Revlar acted like Kevlar against a bullet. See? I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to press the zoom out button. See? See? There it is. All like kind of mushed. And that was in the Revlar. That's so cool. I've never had a result like that. Yeah. So cool. So. Yeah. That was really cool. Okay. We're going to do this three times and possibly four. Once. Solid point. Twice. Hollow point. Third time. Slow mo. And depending on the result I get from the hollow point, I might do slow mo with the hollow point too. Okay. So. This is going to be very messy, and I need more room. Three, two, one, fire. Huh. Well, that was sure interesting. And I got egg all over me and my gun. This makes me very sad. See that? That is a little embryo. Makes me kind of sad and feel the blood that came with it. Very saddening. But, that pellet had so much momentum, it is in this egg. See, there's the entry hole. There's a dent where it was trying to go through. So we're going to crack this egg open and find it. And FYI, I'm only doing this once, so... Yeah, I'm going to set you down so I have two hands. Hopefully you can see. And there we are. One... Very bad pellet. Okay, here's the pellet. It stopped in like the fourth. Whoa! Look at that, see? I don't know if that's focused or not, but you can see that like engraved line in it. So weird. Wow! I'm not doing that again. That was not fun. I got blasted in the face with that stuff. I got blasted in the face. That was not fun. Well, I'm running out of SD card space, so without further ado, thanks for watching Goat Ranch, and we will see you next time. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye.